on this episode of Ninja Quest, forging a warrior physique, taking the skills and lessons of the past and adapting them for the modern day. My name is Chris Kay, broadcaster and martial artist. I grew up on a diet of ninja films back in the 80s, those awesome but somewhat cheesy B-movies starring Michael Dudikoff and Sho Kusugi. You know, the ones with the black clad warrior in a mask fighting on a rooftop in broad daylight? Well now, I'm on a mission to learn the real skills of the ninja and samurai. I've come to this popular leisure venue for a workout. Now you might be thinking, what does a TV assault course have to do with authentic ninjutsu? Well, I think there are some transferable skills here and that is what I'm gonna investigate. As ancient Japan spies and saboteurs, Shinobi might be tasked with infiltrating an enemy fortress. That could involve scaling castle walls, jumping down from rooftops or shimmying across beams. Actions requiring grip strength and superior balance. Physical abilities not too dissimilar from the ones needed to negotiate these obstacles. In a fun little book written by leading ninjutsu researcher Yuji Yamada, he describes a series of exercises to build a body ready for combat. It says some ninja would strike their body with a steel bar to strengthen their bones. To condition the fingers, the digits are jabbed into a container of sand or gravel. And to prepare one's grip, barrels of rice are lifted using just the fingers and thumb. Having strong fingers and a good grip certainly helps when tackling these brutal obstacles. Respected martial artist and author Don Drager writes in his book, Ninjutsu, The Art of Invisibility, about how a ninja apprentice would develop strength and endurance by hanging from a branch using a double-handed grasp. It describes how over time the height of the bow would increase and how a trainee would be expected to remain in that position for up to an hour. So let's do a little experiment. I'm going to hang from this pull-up bar at an outdoor gym and see how long I can hold on for. As you can see, I'm nowhere near an hour, but you know, it's a starting point. For climbing up walls, trees or rope ladders, you need superior physical conditioning, particularly flexibility, grip strength and endurance. One ninja hiding method involves swiftly scrambling to the top branches of a dense tree once hidden in the foliage, the shinobi could evade detection and keep a lookout for the enemy. The ancient ninja manual, the Bansen Shukai, describes a variety of ladders made from rope and bamboo, which shinobi used to complete their mission. Of course, pulling yourself up using these tools demanded the requisite strength. Another essential physical skill is jumping. Fujita Seiko states you should practice by planting hemp seed, Leap over the fast-growing plants several times a day and with consistent daily practice, your ability to jump will greatly improve. The final Ninja Warrior obstacle, the warped wall, can be compared to an exercise where a board is rested against a wall. The ninja then runs up the plank as high as they can. As the shinobi becomes more proficient, the incline is gradually increased. So you can see how these obstacles can be used to train the physical skills that would have been necessary back in medieval Japan. You can see how you would need conditioned fingers for climbing, balance for running across walls and rooftops, upper body strength for pulling yourself up ropes and ladders and jumping skills. If nothing else, it's an excellent workout. 